Blood Uh And I'll following the advice of Garman is going to enter old Yarnum. Uh, Garman says that what hunters do to get more powerful they seek holy chalices and apparently there is a holy chalice in old Yarnum. Actually, going to change clothing. to risk all the souls on this on this run because it usually improves my my play when I have more souls. On, on the on the line. harder if you have no no way of leveling up and if I die I really need to pass this part without leveling up okay in the future the game will become challenging enough but in the beginning here it's a bit more challenging I think people will still consider this part a bit challenging. Uh, I especially like the, the fight with the companion not being leveled up. But I actually think I only did this without leveling up once. Got the monocular, because we know what's going to happen. How doesn't know? First impressions. Smells like barbecue. Burnt flesh. Beautiful architecture. Blood red skies. Night seems to be maybe 6.30 now. You there! Hunter! Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those of us. Turn back, for the hunter will face the hunt. Okay. So... This leaves all puzzled why he wasn't, first of all, he wasn't expecting a human to be in this place. And then that human seems hostile, and since that has just the button and all. And what the hell does it mean? The, the beasts mean no harm? Well, there's no idea, and okay, this this part of the game actually has a cool mechanic. If you got the torch, I can actually show. So without the torch, these guys are really aggressive. They will just keep charging. Now you put the torch. Traumatized. This, these are bits that are especially sensible to 
fire up there, but an abnormal fear, a normal fear of fire. She has a pretty good grasp on the hunt. I think he already knows that he's hunting people, but he's a pragmatist. But he still feels a little bit bad about killing them because he knows that this for people wants. But he's focused on the now and the threat they pose right now. And so he doesn't see any humanity in them. He's actually thinking if that guy is crazy or he even he might be a beast because we have Gascoigne that was talking but at the same time Gascoigne was being just a blood drunk person. You are a skilled hunter. This guy doesn't look like that. I've cut with blood, as the best hunters are. Also makes Hal think. He clearly knows something about the hunt. Hal is clearly thinking that this guy is a hunter, and he probably knows more about the hunt than than Hal. He looks, gives a shot. He looks with the monocular, and he's thinking, I could never tell what kind of hunter he is, and. He just had a look at me and he knows that I'm laced with blood. So... He's a veteran hunter. He's, he knows what he's talking about. He knows more than half about what he's talking, ab what he's talking about. And he, and he actually goes out of the echo chamber. That reinforces the hunt. And that makes Halt feel uncomfortable. He also doesn't seem that into killing us. He's just doing it because we are this kind of a superior hunter. I think there is a world where a civilian goes by or a hunter that is not uh, very infected with blood. He just ignores the beasts like Alfred might have done and Jura will just ignore him because he's just trying to keep the beasts alive and he just sees us as too much of a threat because we are clearly uh, a bloody a bloody hunter that was being marked and it's been laced with blood he actually hasn't leveled up with blood yet, but with blood echoes, but uh
but Hulk is still a bit... He's not convinced at all because he has no reasons to believe. If it's between believing this guy in a tower shooting at him or German, he prefers to believe in German. Or in all the other characters that reinforce his hunt, but he doesn't stop being intrigued. And he's not well bit drunk enough to eat Chura because he's different than him. He's more curious than anything and he's a bit afraid that there is more to the hunt than all of this black and, and white situation of just kill, kill, kill. He will be more comfortable if if nobody questions the hunt. He feels perfectly perfect, perfectly okay with hunting. He's been told it's a righteous thing. At the same time, he's not sure if any of this is real. You might just be dreaming. I would say that he's got two, two thoughts right, uh, right about now about children. He prefers to think that he's just this crazy guy, but he's afraid that might, there might be something more to the hunt than being good by killing. And this guy also makes him feel very uncomfortable because one person is one thing, but apparently there are two. He doesn't even doesn't even talk. Just goes straight away. I don't know what happened there. But this guy is taking my ass.
just use that. Although we can't pursue even they can go there, it just doesn't like it. We heal. Should have kept the pressure on him. that this, this AI really abuses abuse shooting mother, more than other hunters. At least I feel like that. Maybe also because that helps with the theory I have about the powder case. Nice fight because he's got a very similar moveset to our own. Looks like. So I could go this way, but it's hell. But okay, we only live once. Let's go. now is absolutely suicidal at least from my level of play. Boy, have I been here? Okay, there's nothing there probably. Okay. I believe there are ten enemies coming from the dark in here. Don't even know where to start. aggressive that I just lost not so much time. Now I got the same of psycho people. And this is cool. this is this is a cool part of three. We can manage this.
Another intense fight. All the matches victorious. We think these people are not uh, are not nice at all. But you also recognize that they live very close to each other and they do not seem to to have any trouble coexisting peacefully. And that actually gives pause to hold. Makes him think, okay, there might be something else because now he's trying to understand Jura. They said that beasts mean no harm, and he's actually witnessing that he hasn't seen beasts attacking beasts yet. He thinks, okay, but they attack hunters, and he also thinks they attack innocent people. So somebody there a rifle spear, this might have been a different Jura companion, or... No. What is this? Okay, it was also created by the, the powder kegs, so it must have been from a companion of of, uh, of the guy in the tower, his name is Jura, uh, and it's important that it's the only trick weapon with an attached gun, because it also goes... Uh, so I got this theory about why is Jura like a pacifist. It has all to do with with they carrying guns and not blades. This was a message. Uh, this might have been the guy in the tower. Because he was uh, a hunter and he seemed to be questioning the burning of the beasts. I can also imagine Gilbert saying this, being given a flames prayer, and the red moon hangs low, so everyone is kind of. It's like the worst part of the of the of the night of the hunt. Beasts are. It's like the, the climax of the beasts, but it's still I don't know. Maybe he's questioning, but he believes this character that wrote this is questioning the hunt, but he believes that uh, uh, we should they should burn it to cinders. Maybe it's just a guy that just really just questioning it and questioning it might be a random character or might be even the guy that had the rifle spear might be a, a powder keg I would say it's either a powder keg or, or the other we got the chair enter set let's see which is a shard hunter set. So this is the opposite of the guy in the tower, this guy. These guys were kind of like special ops to, to kill the beasts that were not already burned. Seems he was kind of like, I don't know, just sit down here and died. He was a hunter. Good night, sir.
chicken and run. Where is it? Where did I come from? So that area is cleared now. Beasts and beasts. So there's two people now, and he also sees a message that also makes him question. But it's still not really enough for him. It's got much more reinforcement on the other side. It's got much more people reinforcing the hunt. But he's, he's more and more intrigued, and I believe old knows. Knows that he should think things through. He should listen because he doesn't know. He rests to this place and he thinks if the holy chalice is somewhere, it must be in here because this looks like a place where a holy chalice could be. be really cool if this guy gave me some blood vial because otherwise I don't think I would halt can survive a particular vial without leveling up this is good I need to be extremely careful oh nice to be so yeah, this area is a bit hard when you're level up. So it's, it's much harder without leveling up, but for sure much more exhilarating. This area will be particularly ruby. You have to be play really fast. It'll be really good. Maybe I can play at least this area. It's not being leveled up. And actually winning blood vials is actually good. So Hald comes here and sees this horrible sight. There's this beast. got his skin taken off. At the same time he's thinking 
well, those Viswas were clearly cooperating. It's not just that they... Not just that they don't not attack each other, they ask for help. So the first guy that we killed, the big one, this one, I think this one, he called all of the other ones and they showed up with uh, their eyes red. Which, which means that they have got, they hit harder and they have more aggro. So they decided that it would be a good idea just to leave a beast there. I think that's like, maybe, it's not a cleric beast. I don't know my beasts that well. Old also doesn't know his beasts that well at this time. Oh, there's a beast there. He's thinking maybe that's a chalice. And it's ritual blood. And he wonders what ritual blood is. And apparently it's used on the Holy Chalice, so we are on the right track. So, we are really into art of stuff now. Just blood. Something like that to happen in this game. You cannot really lower your guard when you're fighting. Here there are some things that I just noticed. Like I played maybe this game some like at least 30 times. Not uh, not until the end, but uh, I would uh, just start a game and go, die, restart sometimes just because I enjoyed like the beginning of the game and I noticed very very recently that notice on the last time I played that you can actually I think here see the wolves referring to ambush you When you go down there, this wolf will actually ambush you. And I think there's another wolf we can see somewhere. Okay, maybe not. But that is a cool detail. It's just waiting there. Might stay there for, for years. Just wait. Uh, so we are going to open a shortcut. So if we die, we can actually we actually have a good chance of picking up our souls back without having to fight everyone. And I'm going to use the shortcut. And I'm going to try to get all the things in this cathedral I I die here because I'm not very good in the platforming on these games but let's see so this way we can go up to Judah to the, the guy on the tower we're not going because right now we have no chance but fight him and hold all this just like okay I don't feel the need to go and fight that guy. I think I'm I'm through. I survived these mini guns. He just has a different idea, uh, but he actually knows more about the hunt than I do. 
I think I might be right, but I need just to keep on checking out the stuff. Maybe you know something I don't know. Maybe it's just a crazy guy. So because I want everything, I'm going this way and I'm really bad at this. The worst thing is that you can actually die. Really easy. If I fall from this height, I think I'm dead. So, and yeah, and now the problem is I need to make a jump. And I'm also horrible at the jumps. So yeah, now I'm running. Now I need to run, let go, run and, and press run again. To make a jump, let me just put myself in position. And I'm horrible at this, I might take a while. Failed. I think it's impossible to avoid damage, but you can actually almost avoid. So I couldn't do it, I need to try again. Which makes salt not really think about anything. Just like, okay, that's a challenge, let's see if I can get there and pick that, that up, it must be something really important. Spell alert, it's not important at all, it's just, I think it's just something to put on your little ones. I'm not sure, but I think it's something like that. I know that it's not something, it's not like a quality of life weapon or something like that. Come on, I need to release and press again, release, press again. Bump. Bloody messenger advantage will read what is this later. I think the way I fell down last time is probably the safest way. Maybe I can actually It's okay. Bye. So this video if everything goes okay we'll finish pretty soon. So just do the area with the wolves and I think we cleaned everything but Jura. So if we ever need to go back here again, I don't think there's any items I need to pick up. So this area will be pretty much clear. Next time we'll come here we'll just talk with the guy in the tower I believe. We'll have a small shot with him. Next, uh, next video will probably just be called Alt stares into the fire for 5 minutes straight while I talk a little bit about Chura because I think this game is much cooler if you actually think about the characters and the story and what do they mean Jura in particular I think it's a very interesting character. Jury is the guy in the tower. Uh, well, Hal doesn't know that, but I know that because I've played the game. There's quite a few information, and I think we can 
do like a little timeline of what was Jura's life just based on what he, what he says and some of the descriptions so I know that there's a beast in here if we go really fast so both disappear And they always give uh, stuff to upgrade your weapons. So I think after Blood Starved Beast, I need to upgrade. Uh, because otherwise, I will just lose my souls for no reason. Now it's wolves. I don't, I don't see any trouble in wolves. I don't know if anybody sees them as trouble. playing thing okay I can actually admit that this actually play they barely touch me I was hoping for some blood vials but I'm okay some pungent blood cocktail this attracts some some beasts chips carry in here but it's actually quite effective rotation it goes to you whatever you are you need to, to dodge when it goes for the last movement otherwise it will really easily catch you I don't think I'm going to do the blood star of this without upgrading so this guy also has for support he only has a wolf that wolf will be very hard to kill actually won't shot me so it might also be a cool fight but just probably really fast but intense because the guy's got his eyes red so this is the most dangerous wolf maybe that you find in the game is a bit glitched there is a bit more aggressive I think This is a wolf at the end of the day. Okay, I think I'm going for Blood Star Vist just like this. I'm just going to open. Uh, okay, I need to run, 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 run here. Cause there's of this oh, 
clear this although can actually summon Alfred so he can help me we can team up the next boss but I don't know I don't want to hold Alfred anything it smells horrible in this part of the place I'm thinking, he's thinking, well, I'm going deeper into all the armor. Ready, passed by an altar, it had some ritual blood for me to use on the, on the ritual of the chalice. So, all things that is on the right play for the chalice. We have a bit of this moral dilemma regarding the hunt so he came out of his echo chamber for a little bit and he's smart enough to to understand that he might not have it had right the first try but he's a pragmatist he sees the beast as beasts and he he sees that hunting is a useful skill to have and he's good at what he does so he should keep doing it but as you can see he's all covered in blood so I don't know how well he's doing just being covered in blood means that he's doing really well he's doing really well I think that the gunpowders probably would disagree. I'm going just to open because I think I cleared all of this. I was not expecting. So okay, I think that we just get playing better and better this game, maybe. looking as difficult as I thought it uh, would be but this, no, I'm sure this game is, is hard so I haven't leveled up or anything and the durability of my weapon is very low which is funny because I don't remember this ever happening to me fortunately I got a sauce spear I'm gonna use the sauce spear and I might die but I think it will be a nice fight with the blood starved beast before that there will be a chapter just for me to talk about Jura well Outlooks into nothingness. Okay, I want to clear everything before going to the fight. And I think, yeah, I need to do somewhere to do to clear everything. Somewhere else I need to go. Oh my god, 12 blood vials. I think it's a bit suicide, but. It's okay, I'm playing well. It might be quite doable, let me see. I used to let them yeah, be them up. Not perfect to go against the fire. So where is Jura? That he doesn't shoot here. I'm curious. Oh, 
was over there. Probably doesn't see it. Oh. There are not enough beasts in this area for him to get worried. Here. Another road place here. So, so here is a torch. using all the armor everything with uh, that is related with with fire yeah, it mentions that such certain creatures have a deathly fear of fire uh, most stuff related with fire mentions all the armor Actually, the the weapon that um, Gilbert gave us does not mention all the Arden, but being the flame sprayer. Probably ships. Maybe it means something. Maybe it means that Gilbert <coughs> never was in all the Arden after all. So this is really neat, I'm just going up just to show how this shortcut goes from the beginning of the level until the end of the level. You can pretty much avoid all fighting from from next time. So to go where we were with the wolves and the bonfires. This is where we started and we just need to go here just go here here then here here just go down, down, down and we are already here I didn't get the... Did I get the... Ambush wolf? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, my short-term memory is not... as it used to be. Let me see if I find something different. So you never noticed. You start seeing certain parts that you've been. I don't think we've been in that bridge yet. There's lots of statues that of people with bandages that just reinforce that this is a dream. It's um, very, very weird statues and the same statues everywhere. Yeah, this is the end of the video, clearly all the Arnhem. Over there for next video. Over here, so next video, next two videos will take part. One will be here. you I'm sorry for all of this uh, so one will be here and the other one will be inside that will be 
the boss fight. Uh, next video we'll just first talk a little bit about Jura. So this is done now.